Dear Zimbabweans, I come to you again today. Count down four days left. Friday is coming. It is the day when all of us, wherever we are, are going to speak about our country. Our objective is very clear. Not to looting anymore in our country. All the corrupt culprits must be punished. We want to see all those people who have been looting our national resources, one arrested, two prosecuted, three being fired from the position of authority they are currently occupying. Four, we are also demanding the immediate release of Hopewell Chingono and Jacob Ngaruvungwe. It has never been seen anywhere in the world where the people who have practiced corruption are granted bail. I'm being shocked and astonished that our judiciary at the present moment, no matter that I am the officer of the court, but there is justifiable criticism of the judiciary within the parameters of the law. There is nowhere in the world where the law has been used as a sword and spear against the people, as what we have witnessed on the case of Wopwell Shingono and Jacob Ngarufume. There were no grounds at all for denying the two bail and for their continued incarceration. We know that judiciary has been used as a weapon against the aspirations of the people during the period of apartheid South Africa, where everybody who called for democracy and the majority rule in South Africa were incarcerated by the apartheid system using the judiciary.